how's it going? My name is Ashley and welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're brand new to this channel, hey, how's it going? Welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a review on one of my most used summer purses that I currently have in my Louis Vuitton collection. So if you haven't already done so, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon right at the top corner for notifications on when I upload new videos. So let's get right into it. So today I'm going to be talking about the Louis Vuitton Crisette. So I've had this purse in my collection for over a year and I have to say this bag, even though it looks super small on camera, however when you see it in person it is quite large and it's very compact. You can add a lot of stuff into it. Um, so if you're, if you're the type of person that has a larger wallet but every time you use a purse you have to switch your wallet to accommodate it, with this bag you don't have to do that because a large wallet fits perfectly right into this purse and you can still add more things into it if need be. Um, so the color that I currently have right now, it is in the white color, so it's actually called a Demir Azair canvas color. However, if you do want to get a darker color in this purse, um, you can get it. It's called the Demir Ebony purse, um, but it is a black brown color. It's not very appealing. I think the white color is much more appealing. It brings out this purse more, and therefore this is a summer bag. Um, now this bag, when it comes to the leather of the purse itself, meaning on the handle, the sides, the straps, and even the trim, it's all the same leather. It's called natural cowhide trim. Um, so you just have to be really careful with this particular leather because it is prone to being scratched easily. So you can see scratches on this purse, as well as if there's any uh, stains, they are, uh, you can see them on the leather. So just be careful of that. Um, so the handle that you see up here, um, it is in a half moon shape. Unfortunately, it's stuck like this, so it does not go down. But to preserve the leather of the purse, uh, sorry, to preserve the leather on the handle, I can suggest just add a bandeau or a silk scarf onto it and it will preserve the life of it. Um, overall, this purse is all in gold hardware, so the lock at the front, the top over here under the handle and even the sides where your uh, straps are, it's all gold hardware. Um, so there's no difference in that. The uh, material itself, it's very soft, um, it's very flexible. Um, because I've only had this purse for a year, I haven't uh, damaged this purse like my other bags. Um, so this bag is super intact, but maybe down the road I feel like it will stretch over time or it will damage, but we'll see. Um, now the lock that you guys see over here, it is your normal S lock. So if you want to open up the purse, you simply push the button over here and it opens. If you want to close it, you push the flap down and it closes. Um, so the inside of the bag itself, so it is pink, baby pink color and it is your normal textile lining. Um, so just because I just took this bag out today because I am going to start using it for the summer, there is really nothing in it. However, this is what the inside of the bag looks like. So right now I do have the iPhone and a small wallet in it, but this purse, a good thing about it, if you are the type of person that has a large wallet, it does fit perfectly in here. Um, so you don't have to change your wallet anymore because it will fit perfectly and you can still add your daily essentials into the bag. Um, now it does have a inside back pocket. This pocket actually fits my phone. I do have the iPhone XS Max. It fits perfectly in it. However, you cannot add anything else into the back pocket. But as you can see, it has stretched because I did add the phone in there. Um, another thing about this bag, when we flip it over, it does look like it, there is a back compartment. Unfortunately, there is no back pocket. So if you are the type of person that wants to add stuff into the back pocket to make it easier for yourself, you won't be able to do that because there's no back pocket. So that is a con in this purse. So a cool thing about this bag, if you guys haven't already noticed or so, it does come with its own accessory piece. Um, so when I mean accessory piece, I do have the tassel already attached on this purse, but it does come with a tassel and it's removable and it does have the Louis Vuitton name right embossed right onto it, as you guys can see here. Um, and this is also in your natural cowhide trim. Um, so again, it is removable, so if you don't want to have the tassel on the sides of 
the purse, you can actually add it to the handle, or if you don't want to have it on the purse in general, you can just take it off. Um, so because I've had this purse only a year, um, there hasn't been a major price increase in the purse itself. So if you are interested in buying this purse or even the other version of this purse, it will cost you 2,200 Canadian dollars. Um, and both purses in both colors are currently available on the Louis Vuitton website. Now, when it comes to the measurements of this purse, from top to bottom, it is 17 centimeters. Uh, for side length, it is 25 centimeters. And for the side width, it is at 9.5 centimeters. And you can also find the measurements right on the Louis Vuitton website under the description of the purse itself. Um, so to wear this purse, you can actually wear it three different ways. It's completely up to you and how you want to wear your purse. Um, so the first way to wear this purse is by holding the handle. And then the second way to wear this purse is, of course, my favorite cross body. And then the third way to wear this purse is over the shoulder. But because the strap is all one strap, so it's not adjustable, as you guys can see, um, it's not adjustable in any means, it has no buckle, you can change the strap. So if you have an adjustable strap, you can simply add it to the sides and you can use that strap and adjust it accordingly to you. Overall, I mean, this purse is a very nice purse. If you are brand new to the Louis Vuitton collection, I would suggest go for this purse because it is super compact. You can add a lot of stuff into it. If you don't want to get the white color, get the dark color. Um, I mean, it's, it's not that expensive and I think it's a really great purse. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed my short review on the Louis Vuitton cassette. Um, if you haven't already done so, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon right at the top corner for notifications on when I upload new videos, as well as make sure to like the video. But until next time, guys, bye!